Let's see. Let's see if we can get this one today. Ooh, new bitter. All right, all right. Ooh, another new bitter. Last week it sold for 2500 Damn. New bitter. I'm going to go up to 35 because that's what we were going to pay. Bonus time. bonus time. Screw your bonus time. Sold on approval. All right, hopefully we get it. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another Bobby's Backyard. As you can see behind me, got the C250, as you saw in the clip. We won the car. Yeah, not a bad price, I think. So um, let's go check it out, see what the damage is. Damage, like I said in the preview video, is the front end. Got a little smack in the front. I'm gonna see if I can bend that out with the heat gun staple this up uh the fog light is hanging inside i'm gonna see if i can reattach that for right now i'm gonna reuse the bumper it's easy to fix just gonna have a lot of sanding to do but it is reusable another another budget build um i am gonna have to redo this headlight sand it down clear it because we do have another one right here so we got the headlight for this thing now Practically brand new eBay used 140. Everybody wanted 180 to 260, so I thought that was a good deal. Um, so yeah, let's walk through it. Got the hood open. Hood struts are good, as you saw, like I said on the preview. And we are gonna dress this hose later on, but like I said, we're gonna get it smogged. It's ready for smog. I checked it. No check engine light, no nothing. We're gonna clean up the engine compartment after the smog, like always. All right, so that's the engine compartment. And on this video, we are gonna change the headlight and fix up the bumper, reattach it to the grill and everything like that on this video and clean it up. As you can see, it is filthy. Dirty, dirty, dirty. Inside smells like smoke the first day I got in it, Iowa. I got a headache, it was horrible. Here's all the mats. I'm gonna degrease those today. I don't know, like I said, this is a basket case, basket case car. Brand new pads, we found some brand new pads in here. We're like, there's only one pair. I went and checked the driver's side, it's brand new. Check the passenger side, it doesn't have any. Who the heck only changed one side, man? Uh, as you can see, I think we got it in 20 and 21. Yeah, this trunk is dirty. Like I said, we'll clean it up right now. Let's just go through it, see what's up. Yeah, Jack Jack. It does have a ding there. I didn't see that before, but it looks like a BB gun or something. But like I told you, the interior is clean. It's not bad. The back, the back seat's good. It smells like smoke. And um, the only uh, fault on the dash is the seat belt buckle which i think i know what's wrong it's common it's this little wire right here it runs through it goes through the track so it gets cut i don't know why they route it like that but it ends up getting cut and rubbed so i'm going to take the seat out also today and see if we can do that looks pretty easy like i said today we're going to concentrate on the headlight and washing it up and everything like that it is hot it's triple digits man all right so first thing we're gonna do is take off that front bumper oh yeah on another note remember on the clip on the preview where the trunk didn't line up very well check that out i already fixed it with a little bit of uh maneuvering of the of the trunk look at that you saw how bad it was last time i'll see if i can run that clip again yeah this truck doesn't align very well. But yeah, look at that. Everything matches. All right, I'm gonna put up a pop-up. Then take off this front bumper. <laughs> All right, um, I actually don't have to take the whole bumper off uh, to take the headlights out. 
I just took it out right now because to reposition this, uh, the bumper actually was messed up because it was off of here. So once we put this back on there, it actually lines up perfect. And yeah, there's nothing wrong with the fender, nothing wrong with the bumper right here, no nothing, which is awesome. So all I'm gonna do is just change the headlight and we're done. I even reattached the uh, bumper to the grill already. Nothing wrong with it. So I'm just gonna sand it down while it's on the car. It's a lot easier. Do everything by hand first with a brush. Scuff all these up. Yeah, scuff all this up. And then I'm gonna get the heat gun right now since I have it halfway off so I can push it and bend that out. And phew, this bumper is reusable. Sand it down, repaint it. There goes my phone again. Heck yeah, man. And then uh, put the fog light back in. Be right back. And bam, look at that. Looking good, looking good. I got the bumper back in shape. Heck yeah, look at that. Everything matches. Told you it wasn't that bad of a hit. Got the headlight fixed. Restored this headlight. Looks good now. So let's wash it up. All right, let's see what's in this trunk before we wash it. All right, looks like this is the old license plate. Throw that away. California Motor Direct, probably where he bought it from. Check that out later, see how much they paid for it. Like I said, these are the pads. I'm gonna put these on off camera. Let's see, I don't I don't smoke, nobody smokes. Throw this in the trash. Yeah, all the trash stuff goes right here. I gotta look at that. Trash, trash. You know what, I'm gonna bring the trash can over here. I should recycle that, but whatever. Trash. Trash. I don't know, should I? Yeah, I might keep, keep the metal part. Yeah, looks like they're putting oil. I might keep that a little pump. Throttle air body cleaner. I'll keep that. I'm telling you, man, it's getting worse and worse in this car. Uh, gas cap. They put a new one, probably for smog. Like I said, it is ready for smog. Cool. Don't know what's wrong with it. Why keep it? Let's go. Oh, here is the engine cover. Awesome. Cool. Heck yeah. Pills. Glasses. Oh, was, uh, my wife always likes to know what kind of pills people take. Be right back. Alright, back on the trunk. Let's see. A -a ignition. I don't know what they replaced, but they replaced something. They took care of it, not too, I mean, not great, but hybrid ceramic detailer, all right. Leather care wipes, eh, I'll check that out. Let's see, trash, cool, brand new tennis ball. Huh, eh, I'll keep it. Whoa. Uh, handle. Keep that just in case there's one missing. I don't think one. Any are missing. Uh, some more. All right. So my wife found out what those pills are, and I found another bottle of pills. They're both for pro prostate. So he had a big prostate issue. Selling you, man. You can tell a lot by uh, contents of someone's car. Cool zip ties. Keep those. All right, trash, trash, trash. I need these screws for the, um, 
license plate. Keep that. Alright, I'm going to be right back. I'm going to put this, use two hands and get all this stuff in, uh, in the trash. Alright, I mean it's not vacuumed out or anything, but it's all cleaned out. The uh, spare tire thing is put back. All the mats are in here. I laid that on there so it'll lay it flat. There's no spare tire. It's missing. So maybe I'll go to the junkyard get one. But all the tools and everything are there. So now let's wash it. Fill the trash can. Stuff I'm going to keep. Clothes I'm going to throw away. So now I'm going to put the engine cover on. Where is it? Okay. Flap there. Man, this one's gonna make this look good. Heck yeah, there you go. Nice. A lot different. Cool. Alright, let's watch it. I still got to detail the wheels. I got to do a lot of stuff. I just wanted to, you know, clean it up real quick. But yeah. Not bad, not bad at all. Like I said, it still has its flaws and stuff like that, but you need to clean these cars up, man. Not bad. All right, I am late for a dinner party. I got to get ready, jump in the shower. So that's going to be it for this part of the video. Uh, we still got to do the interior floor mats, see what's wrong with the uh, airbag be uh, belt buckle. So that's going to be another day. So it's going to end this, uh, this part of this video right now. See you tomorrow. Welcome back. It is another day here. Like I said in the last clip, uh, today uh, we're going to work on that... Um, airbag light we're gonna take the seat out see if uh if there's a wire cut i'm pretty sure i'm 100 sure i checked with the altel there's no signal going to it so i'm gonna see what tools i need uh take the seat out disconnect the battery after i uh unbolt the seat and then when i was going to go get uh get it uh smog like i said it was ready for smog check engine light turned on halfway there so i went back home I hooked up the Altels telling me that the gas pedal, uh, there's something wrong. It's out of range. So we're going to have to check out the gas pedal, see what's going on, whatnot. If not, I'm going to look at the throttle body. That's the second one. The code that's coming up is the P2123. Uh, a lot of people say on the forums that it's the throttle body and it clears it. But um, mine says, like I said, the pedal looks like it's out of range. So I'm going to easy enough to get to. So let's get this off but first like i said let's do the seat well um yeah i just moved the seat and i went to disconnect this connector disconnect this connector and this wasn't connected this is supposed to be connected to in here so that's a quick fix cool so that'll fix the airbag light that was the only thing that was wrong with the airbag light was it was saying that there was no belt buckle signal and this is for the uh belt buckle when it clicks in it tells the uh, the ECM or whatever module saying that you're clicked in. Wow. All right. Cool. That is awesome. So I'll plug this back in. We'll hook up the battery and see if the airbag light turns off. And then. All right, guys. I plugged everything back in on the seat. Let's see if the 
check in, or not check engine light, but let's see if the airbag light turns off. If not, I'll reset the module and then we'll check it again. But it should be off. Ha! No airbag light. Nothing. Sweet. Awesome. And we're back. It is another day. Like in the last clip, I fixed the airbag uh, light. And so I did what I did next was I disconnected this connector right here, cleaned it, uh, made sure all the uh, pins were good and everything, plugged it back in, and then I went inside, took off the gas pedal, two 13 millimeter bolts here, comes right out. There's a connector on this side. Unclip it. I took out the gas pedal out. Cleaned it with um, electrical cleaner uh, on the connector. The well, the plug and the connector on the pedal, and I sprayed it inside uh, the pedal too, and let it soak and let it dry. You can still see some residue right there, I think. Um, but I got it smoked. I came just just got back from uh, the smog shop, and it passed. No problem. So. Um, like I said, once I pass the smog, now I'm going to clean up the engine. It's still warm. Like I said, I just got back. And so I'm going to, yep, let's clean up this engine now. go. Go. Check that out. Woo She's looking good now. Nice and clean. Beautiful. so now let's change the oil and the transmission got everything here we got the oil filter in here oil filter trans filter trans fluid oil got everything to do it so uh, that's gonna be another day well yeah tomorrow uh, I'm hungry I need some dinner so catch you guys tomorrow welcome back ladies and gentlemen it is another day uh, early in the morning engine compartment still looks good got the car up on jack stands get ready to do the oil I'm gonna start it up get it up to temperature 
easier to drain that way and for the transmission and now i know why they didn't change these pads look how look how bad they are they are done <sighs> reason why they didn't change them and here they are is uh took uh, some force to take those off it took uh this bar and this and me standing on it for it to come off so yeah that's why they didn't change them so now i can change them so i'm gonna do that first and then uh actually i'm gonna drain the oil take off the belly pan from under here from down here take it off and start taking off the belly pan where the transmission is and then while that's draining i'll do the front that one front brake since the driver's side's already done let's get to work as you can see down there i drained all the oil so i'm gonna put the drain plug back in do the oil filter fill up the oil start draining the transmission back there and i had to get a brake uh brake pad wear sensor so i put that in new one here's a new one got it from autozone 297236 yep so replace that so uh let's button up the oil change and finish that up and start doing the trans all right i got the uh oil change done and everything so now i got the transmission got the pan out got the oil down in there so now the fun part starts is uh filling it here's the old oil these are the magnets i'm gonna clean them up not too bad but this oil there's no glue or anything in there but wow that oil is nasty and there's a little bit of glitter not much but yeah and this is the overflow tube what you got to do is that you got to stick a tube inside from the other side and fill it that way while it's running and everything yeah it's, it doesn't have a uh, uh dipstick or tube anything to fill it so yeah how fun all right now let's get this done all right no leaks no nothing from oil or transmission it's all buttoned up just gotta put the belly pans in i'm gonna do that tomorrow it's just way too hot today i think that's gonna end this video right here i am tired now oil is perfectly filled Let's show you the oil filter oil filter is pretty freaking nasty this was the trans filter nasty also yeah look at that yeah so this thing should run a lot better but yeah like i said i think this is going to end this video i'm going to do uh the interior next that's going to be a solo video because i'm going to shampoo the carpets clean the seats i'm going to try to take them out i hate these seat belts they're attached to the seat um steam the steering wheel that is nasty and i got replacement uh i guess it's a sticker or something a decal uh for everything for the steering wheel door door uh, locks and windows the ac and the radio all one kit it's pretty cool 15 bucks gotta wait two weeks but hey it's worth it all right so hope you guys enjoyed this video i did in making it and doing everything everything went so smooth for once and with that, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to end this video of Bobby's Backyard Auto Works on the 2013 Mercedes C250. We did a lot of work today. So until next time, please consider subscribing if you like the video. And if you have, thank you for the support. And hit that like button. Comment down below. Really helps out the channel. Talk to you guys later.